Hi. Um, yes, yeah, as Andres just said, my name is Madeline and I'm an application specialist at Scandidos. And I will be holding this presentation, which um, will be a run through of online dose verification, transmission detectors and the data for Discover. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why verifying dose at each fraction is necessary for safe radiotherapy. Also about what the Delta Ford Discover can do to improve safety and efficiency for your clinic staff and patients. Um, and also about what other solutions exist on the market. So um, let's get right to it. So maybe your clinic has been treating patients without verifying the dose at each fraction for years and never had any accidents. So why should you suddenly start spending money and time on a device that you've done fine with before? Well, I think this picture is um, sort of a good one. Um, about 20 years ago, in vivo dosimetry was common and even mandated in several countries. But as radiotherapy became more complex, uh, traditional in vivo dosimetry lost its relevance. It was no longer meaningful to place diets on the patient's skin. And as a substitute, many, <coughs> sorry, many clinics today use pretreatment verification um, for the plants that can't be measured with diets. But um, is this a sufficient alternative? Pretreatment measurements with a dedicated phantom, such as the Delta IV Phantom Plus, can provide a lot of information about the delivered dose um, at the instance of the pretreatment measurement. However, you don't get any information about the falls that can and that do occur during the course of the treatment because accidents do occur. Um, the New York Times tells the story of Mr. Jerome Park, who was given an IMRT treatment for a tongue cancer at a New York City hospital. Um, his first four fractions were delivered as planned, but for the fifth one, uh, the doctor decided to redesign the plan to um, save some dose for his teeth. And it was during this procedure that a software crash, crash uh, caused the MLC leaves to be wide open during the entire treatment. Mr. Park was treated with this plan during three fractions and was administered a severe overdose. He died um, some time later from radiation injuries. And Mr. Park is not alone. Um, in the UK, there's a project involving 45, 49 hospitals who are voluntarily reporting errors and irregularities in radiotherapy. Um, the conclusion from this project is that irregularities are very common. In fact, there are hundreds per year and per clinic. An accident occur when very common irregularities converge. Um, this is sort of common knowledge also in other industries, such as aviation, where strict QA and security programs are implemented. So how do we prevent these accidents? The radiotherapy ther risk profile was published by um, the World he Health Organization in 2008. It has identified thousands of adverse events and near misses, um, both in the Western world and several developing countries. Uh, this publication states that a very efficient method of preventing accidents is in vivo dosimetry, which can be done with, for example, a transmission detector. Um, so, I started up this presentation by talking a little bit about adverse effects and um, also now how about how to avoid them. Um, this is 
the manual for acro accreditation from the American College of Radiation. Accreditation is a process of review that healthcare organizations can participate in to demonstrate the ability to meet predetermined criteria and standards. So this is basically a manual for how to perform safe radiotherapy. According to this um, accreditation process, a very important part in uh, performing safe radiotherapy is to have a continuous uh, quality improvement plan. And to be able to do improvement, you need feedback. And a transmission detector can give you just this. So using the feedback you can get from a transmission detector, you can um, investigate how your treatments are looking, for example, if you would want to look at a certain group of patients or a certain diagnosis, what does the results from those treatments look like? Maybe you want to use the information to fine adjust the dose at the last fractions. So in conclusion, a transmission detector will allow you to prove that you and your department are doing right and also to improve your processes. So let me then present our solution, uh, the Delta IV Discover. Um, what do you get with a Delta IV Discover? Well, you get an independent, unobstructed QA of the complete treatment. And what I wanted to focus on here is the words independent. Um, the Delta IV Discover is completely independent from the accelerator. So the hardware and software are separate from the hardware and software on the Linux. It, it is also not based on any log files from the linear accelerator. Um, unobstructed, so the Delta IV builds only six millimeters from the guidance pin of the accelerator and it actually passes above the laser guard of a variant accelerator, which means that you can obtain all the patient clearance you would have without the device. Um, it's possible to slide out the device to see the light field on the patient um, and the optical distance indicator will always be visible. Um, the device is made of carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is a very hard material, which means that the device can be made very thin. Um, the device attenuates the beam about 1% and it also increases the skin dose of about 1%. That is for 10 by 10 field 6 MV. Um, an advantage of having a device that is this thin is that you don't need to do any recommissioning of the Linux. Um, you can just put it on the Linux. Um, you would um, compensate for this 1% attenuation and then you can start treating patients. And with the word complete, um, we can check every single fraction of the treatment. Um, we can check all important treatment parameters. Uh, we can check that the delivered dose is correct. Um, MLC leaf positions are correct, uh, the gantry and the collimator angle. We can also see the patient position during treatment. Um, we can measure also patient treatment. So the Delta IV Discover is the only transmission detector on the market that is in clinical use today. Oh, and these are some pictures I was going to show. So we have, um, we're able to measure the dose, 
the gantry and collimator angle, the MLC positions, and the patient positions using uh, a laser distance meter. Um, I also wanted to explain a bit about the improved workflow that you can get with a Delta IV Discover. So, for there are a couple of different type uh, types of workflows you can use with a Delta IV Discover. Um, the first one we call Express Measure. For Express Measure, you don't need to do any pretreatment QA. You simply attach the Discover to the gantry and you start treating patients. This will give you a validation of machine parameters such as MLC positions, gantry and collimator angles. Um, the delivered monitor units um, for each gantry angle and also the patient position during treatment. Um, if you perform a phantom measurement together with the Discover, you're also able to see the dose measured um, at each fraction you measured with the Discover. So if you're interested in seeing the dose during your measurements, you can do um, a QA session and measure the dose with the Phantom uh, Phantom Plus. And this will calibrate all of the fractions you've measured before you're doing um, the Phantom measurement and also all of the fractions you'll measure after the phantom measurement. So for example, if you are a small clinic that don't do that many treatments, uh, you might want to be able to do all of your QA during just one day a week. Um, that way you could um, gather up all of your phantom measurements, do them one day a week, and then see the dose that you've measured also for the patient that already started their treatments um, after you've done the phantom measurement. You might also only be interested in seeing the dose if some of the machine parameters are not right. Um, in that case, you could just treat patients and whenever you find an error in a machine parameter, you could just bring out your phantom, um, do a measurement, and then be able to see the dose for all of the fractions you've measured to ensure that um, the dose has been correct or to correct the dose for the last fractions. So in summary, um, Using the Delta IV Discover, you will be able to independently verify all relevant treatment parameters during patient treatments while you decrease the time spent on patient QA. So finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, our competitors um, and the competing solutions that exist on the market today. Um, I'm going to use this sort of matrix as a basics. So um, Dr. Rangarash from UMC Health in uh, Lubbock, Texas, published a qualitative analysis of a number of different QA analysis techniques and their efficiency, effectiveness in catching potential discrepancy during radiation delivery. So in this matrix, a 1 stands for a very high efficiency and a 5 for a very low efficiency. Um, some of the techniques analyzed were um, independent dose calculations, uh, log file based systems, different kinds of EPID solutions and transmission detectors. Um, the study found that independent dose calculations while important for finding mistakes made by the treatment planning system, were not very useful in finding mistakes in the, uh, in the radiation delivery. A log file based system, on the other hand, has 
a high accuracy when it comes to determining machine parameters during treatment. However, I think it's important to notice that this determination is independent from the radiation delivery system and might therefore not find all errors. If you have an error in your LINAC, um, you might also have the same error in the way the LINAC writes down its log files. Uh, moreover, log file based systems will not give you any information about the delivered dose. An FBID solution um, that is calibrating the imaging device on the LINAC to do dosimetry can give you information about both machine parameters and dose. However, the resolution in these kinds of systems is generally poor and the results would therefore for small fields be insufficient. Um, if you combine your EPID with a log file based system, you can increase the accuracy in, um, in finding errors in the machine parameters. But you should also note that this makes the system less independent from the delivery system. It was found that a transmission detector with a laser distance meter gave the highest efficiency of all QA techniques included in the study. With such a system, you can verify the gantry and collimator angle, the collimator positions and the MLC positions with a high accuracy during treatment. It should be noted that to be able to determine MLC positions, you need a detector matrix with a very high resolution. And the Delta IV Discover is currently the only system on the market able to do this. A high resolution transmission de detector is also able to determine the dose accurately also for small fields. The distance laser is useful for detecting couch angle errors during treatment and the Delta IV Discover is the only transmission detector on the market which is equipped with a laser pointer. So that was it for this presentation. Um, and there's, I can't see if, I can't see the chat from my screen, so um, can you? Uh, I don't have any questions here at the moment uh, on the chat side. Uh, please type any questions that you might have. It would be interesting to hear them. And if you want, uh, uh, we also have um, a video on our web page that where you can see how it, uh, how the Delta IV Discover actually works. There is also an interview there with uh, Professor Bill Salter speaking about transmission detectors in general and how he looks upon it and its potential. So if there is no questions, uh, we would like to thank you for participating and um, we will uh, you will get the recording um, uh, in a couple of days sent to you. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to get back to us um, at any time. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.